I was diagnosed as a high-functioning psychopath when I was 15 years old. For several months, I underwent an extensive diagnostic process. A handful of Diplot doctors were involved. With each doctor came a new bag. I did neuropsych tests, personality tests, brain scans, social interviews, and had my childhood analyzed incessantly. It wasn't a quick snap diagnosis. It was something that was arrived at over an extended period of time. I'm not the Dahmer kind of psychopath, the animal abuser, the killer. I have a therapist. I always have. I'm working on my blunted emotions. In the most basic definition, I'm detached from everything that normal people are attached to. What a superpower. Sometimes I think being a psychopath is the best thing that's ever happened to me. But then I got this love letter. And now it feels like the worst. I received a love letter today from Sadie Smith, a new friend, my only friend at the moment. We met about a month ago at Saint's Bookstore and now she wants to date me. She professed her feelings. Maybe I'm irresistible after losing 15 pounds and getting contacts. I run so I can smoke. I smoke because I have oral fixations. I tried sucking dick, but let's face it, I'm a girl's girl. My therapist says all psychopaths wear masks. Then again, my therapist says a lot of stupid shit. It's true that I feel the need to blend in. If I behaved or said the things I was actually contemplating. Fuck. People are stupid to think that psychopaths don't have emotions. I feel things. My emotions are just turned down. Sure, I don't feel things as intensely as most women my age. I mean, they cry at everything. Greeting cards and three-legged mutts. When their fling of two weeks breaks up with them or if they watch an especially captivating sunset. I mean, they cry if you look at them wrong. I did not need this today. Fuck you. Emotions rarely serve humans. So what's all the fuss with having so many of them? I'm smart. Really smart, but... Not all psychopaths are. In fact, the majority of them are stupid. They rob liquor stores or sloppily buy and sell drugs, and that's why they spend most of their lives in prison. I don't need to break the law to get what I want. My parents cried over me a lot as a child. I emancipated myself at 16. I didn't like watching them cry. I see every loss as a relief. One less ball and chain weighing me down and one less person to disappoint. Most people equate family with love, but I equate it with duty. A duty that I feel no natural inclination toward. And now I have to consider the ultimate love. Romantic love. Cue the bullshit. I don't think I'm capable of it. Andra, being your friend is great, but I want to date you.
I'll tell Sadie the truth. Then she'll understand. She's so pretty, it almost hurts. I like Sadie because she's beautifully bizarre, and because she likes me, for some reason. And I don't really have friends, so I can't be too picky. Sadie is my first friend in a long time. I like your hair. Sharp. Sadie is everything I'm not. Maybe that's why I've liked spending time with her. She could toss a book bag down without getting anxious about the shifted items inside. I love your plates. She's so comfortable in her skin in any setting. And here I am wearing a suit inside my own home. You seem nervous. Are you going to ask me to marry you? No, definitely not. I'm joking. Chill. Right. Sorry. Can you come sit? It's time for me to take over. Control the outcome. Sadie, I appreciate the letter you hid in my jacket pocket. That was sneaky. But you can't love me. Don't tell me what to do. I didn't mean it that way. I'm just saying, I don't think it's a good idea for you to have feelings for me. Feelings that I can't reciprocate. You don't think I'm cute? No. I do. You're one of the prettiest women I've ever seen. My childhood traumas made me too weird, huh? I like that you're weird. Well, then what? What is it? Oh, God. Here it comes. The disaster. I'm a psychopath. I know. What? Figured you were either a psychopath, sociopath, or autistic. She knew? Okay. So then you know I'm not emotionally all there. I'm not correct <laughs> for you. She's laughing at me. I see the way you look at me. Everyone looks at you. Yeah, but you look at me like I'm special. You are special. Objectively, you're the only person in my life at the moment, but I don't know why you'd want to date me. I want to date you because I like you a lot. I feel like I'd have a lot to catch up to, and that's stressful. You'll get there. Just give it a chance. What if I can't get there? I don't think I can get there. You're going to. I'm going to make you feel. You deserve to experience love, too. Love. Sadie wants me to fall in love with her. Just try with me. I don't think it's a good idea. I think you'll get hurt. That's a risk I'm willing to take. Be my girlfriend, Andra. Girlfriend? Don't you want to kiss me? Yes. Then kiss me as a yes. This is bad. I shouldn't kiss her. I shouldn't. And just like that, Sadie and I started dating. Sadie said the only way this would work is if I threw myself all in. So I have. 
We do all kinds of couple-like things. We go on aimless walks, we go on hikes. We eat almost every meal together. We hang out with Sadie's friends. Sadie's friends have now become my friends. They think I'm strange, but Sadie doesn't seem to care. Because Sadie is also strange. I thought we came here to nap. I'm decorating you like a king. I feel like I'm being entombed. Good. Do you dream? No. When I go off the grid, it drives Sadie nuts. She sends a million texts. Relationships are stressful, I'm learning. But there are moments of calm. Like this one. Ugh. But then Sadie will ask me something like, What are you thinking about right now? Women realize the power of the mind, aware that a whole world exists up there. By asking, they're interjecting themselves into your world more frequently. They're hoping they're on your mind, and by default, they now are. So, I tell Sadie she's on my mind. I'm thinking about you. <laughs> what specifically? Fuck. Red wine. Romantic. Thank you. Cheers. To... She's leaving space for me to say something cute. Why doesn't she just say something cute if she wants this moment to be cute? To... Us. To us. Mm. Mm. Sadie is being sensual on purpose. You know, we haven't slept together yet. I'm aware. Is that because you've never slept with a woman before? I should lie. I sleep with women all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She doesn't believe me. Take off your shirt. <laughs> all right. Go to my bedroom, and wait for me. Yes, ma'am. My therapist says I shouldn't have sex, that it's not fair to the other person. <sighs> Whatever. Like she's trying. Pieces of love and burnt out bodies, but I had a one. What is so amusing? I think I'm losing feeling.
Before you know it, we're fucking all the time. Everywhere. In places we shouldn't. Often enough that I should have a PhD in sex with Sadie. Sadie looks good pressed against a wall. Even better pressed against a shallow wall. Sometimes I wonder what Sadie's thinking when we fuck. But then I think, it's better not to ask. slow danced with anyone before? There's no point in lying here. She knows. No. Isn't it funny that it's called slow dancing? Why? We're moving slowly. Just what? Yeah. To say. But everything inside of me is moving so fast. My head, my heart. Oh God, she's looking at me the way Noah looks at Allie throughout the entirety of the notebook. Andra. I would argue that as a psychopath, I'm more tuned in to the human condition. If anything, I play the game better than emotional people. It's simple. Objectivity is power. Emotions are weakness. Emotions basically confuse and blur everything. I... I love you. Humans are in search of the reaction they want rather than the truth. Once you understand this, you can excel at being human. Sadie is telling me she loves me. In reaction, she wants me to say it back. If I don't say it back, it will hurt her. I love you, too. Oxytocin is how you feel a lot of things, namely love. Psychopaths don't process oxytocin like neurotypicals do. It's confusing that Sadie gets to feel love and I don't. I want to be where she is. It seems nice there. I'm aware that my voice sounds monotone. Sometimes I try to add emotion and emphasis when I speak, but it either makes me sound condescending or stupid. This ice cream is good. <laughs> Are you being sarcastic? No, it's good. <laughs> really. Okay. Hey. You are so cute. And Sadie is kind. We do this for hours sometimes. Sadie thinks we're bonding. But psychopaths can't bond to anything. Not to significant others, their children, or pets. And when she wants it really bad, I find myself wanting to comply, to please. It's easier that way. I feel so close to you. I like the time we spend together. I'm trying not to lie as much. I love you. Hey, I love you. But sometimes, you regret not lying. Sadie ran hot for me. Always. She came into my life roaring and passionate, so something I never calculated, as smart as I am, was that she could go cold. That the dramatic highs could swoop down to the lowest lows. Sure, I'm a psychopath, but she's a twisted love addict. A heartbreaker. 
a snake. You said that you loved me. And from my understanding of love, you don't just end things with someone you love. It's not that I don't love you. I do. It's just... You don't give enough. I know you never will. You made me do this. You made me be in a relationship, so I'm not having the exact emotional reaction that you want me to have. So now it's over? Don't say it like that. That's exactly what it is. I don't want it to be over. Well, it, it has to be. You don't really love me. You were right. I never should have done this. I should have known better. Where did you go? You were here. What are you talking about? Look, I gotta go. This is all a bit much. How could she do this? I'm not going to cry. I'm not going to fucking cry. How could you? Ha 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 ha!